I was reading this morning on a cancer site from the United Kingdom about the use of medical marijuana and cancer, treating cancer. It's a classic essay by an anonymous person saying that there's no real proof that medical marijuana is appropriate for treating cancer. It's a classic case of confuse the consumer, lie, distort. If there's no proof, reasonable proof for medical marijuana, there's no reasonable proof for chemotherapy or radiation therapy either. One of the most prevalent phenomena on the internet and in mainstream media outlets is everything, everything is doubted in the medical world. There's no proof. Except, of course, they assume that there's proof for everything that the pharmaceutical companies do, but that's a lie. The official medical world, medical journals, are very well aware of how distorted medical research is, medical reporting, peer journals. They stretch everything a mile and then doubt everything natural. Medical marijuana, there is evidence, there are testimonies, there's research from Harvard University and many universities and research centers around the world. It is official. Medical marijuana helps in treating cancer. If you look at the traditional viewpoint, it treats the symptoms of chemotherapy, radiation therapy. It's an anti-inflammatory. Of course, chemotherapy and radiation therapy create more inflammation. Medical marijuana is very good for radiation burns. But if you look deep and you look really at the science, medical marijuana in different form, optional forms is a good bet, should be included in every cancer protocol. One of my favorite medical marijuana products is a, is a balm, is something you put on the skin. Put it up close to the camera so you can see. This is from Dixie one of the companies I've been referring people to. It's very nice. Just put it anywhere on the skin. Anywhere. I like to put it on my nose because I have a little bit of irregularities on my nose. I use this on everything that I goes on on the skin. I would use it with breast cancer, meaning topically on the breast, twice, three times a day. Burns, cuts, you name it. After showing you this balm, I'm going to show you one of their, this is called uh, hemp oil dewdrops from the same company. I like this one very much also. This, these are both actually CBD. These are legal. This is legal medical marijuana everywhere, at least in the United States. Shipped from Colorado to any point in the United States, oh, actually in the world. And because CBD, which is one of the cannabinoids in medical marijuana, doesn't get you high. THC gets you high, and it's the only part of the medical marijuana that's illegal. This is the best thing I ever found. Medical marijuana is something that is becoming, is going mainstream. And you can read anything you want. You can read it today. You can, every day there's an essay, an article on medical marijuana. And they're starting to get a little nasty. After 
we find out that 75% of Americans favor uh, uh, legalizing marijuana. Now we're starting to hear all these little reports about why we shouldn't use it, how dangerous it is, it's not like what we think. But you cannot find one person in the world who has died for medical marijuana. There's not one case that I have seen on the internet or anywhere else. Judges have testified that there's no no danger because there's nobody has been killed. Aspirin kills 15,000 people a year in the United States alone. Medical marijuana is safe. It's useful. Use it.